Thanks, team building, and Ms. President of the evaluator is DJ Pichai. DJ Pichai, could you read the project of the uh, I have uh, Antonio. He's taking oh. over my job. Sorry, that was my friend. Could you read the project of the Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so the purpose of varsity projects is for the member to practice the skills needed to build a cohesive team and host an event. The time is from five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes. Eight to ten minutes. This is the one. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. Okay. So at eight you will see the green light. At nine, yellow, and at ten, range, and you have thirty seconds to wrap up. So please welcome competent communicator Basilis. Toastmasters of the day, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Team building what? I have to admit that this project is the most difficult project that I have developed until now. It took me almost two months to research and develop to come here and stand in front of you to deliver that project. And the reason for that is that when it comes to team building, throughout my life, I have no experience, no clue at all. And through my research, I found a lot of contradicting events. So, a little bit of backstory throughout my life, everything I did was individual skills or individual results, or even when I was playing sports, when I was playing sports. Back in my country, I was playing a lot of football, a lot of basketball, which demands team work and team effort. And usually had very good results and successes when I was playing one to one or two to two. But when I had to play with five by five or ten to ten, I always flopped. And the reason was very easy because everybody would follow a structure, a specific schedule or program that each coach would teach us. And I would do something out of my mind, totally different, and everybody would go mess and they would like be confused and they didn't know what to do. So that would be bring me to sports that they were more individual based, more personal skills that didn't have to do a lot with teams and a lot of cooperation with different people. Slowly, slowly, as I developed my skills and I started learning and thinking about development and business and things to develop myself, I started understanding that in the entrepreneurial world, there is not a lot of team building, if at all. When you're talking about entrepreneurs, small businesses, or entrepreneurial businesses, team building exists when you're talking about big corporates, 1,000 employees, or situations that you're sitting on one corner of the office of the floor and the other offices on the other corner of the floor, and you're not even know who are you talking with. This is the part that team building comes to play that has to bridge that gap between people that you don't know each other. However, in my life, everything that I did, I haven't worked in any corporation until now, and I, I don't want to do it. Uh, it was all based on personal skills, personal attempts and struggles, and also when I was working with people together, what I did was I was working with selected people. And I think that's the secret behind team building, how you define it. It's a different team building when you're talking about big operations, it's a different team building team effort when you're talking about smaller size. So in my case, all the people that I worked together were people that they were strictly defined and people that they with had similar ideas, similar mindsets, goals, aspirations, etc. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense of working with people that are coming 180 degrees opposite. It doesn't make sense to work with someone that you would even like to see them, your face. It doesn't matter if you're doing team building or whatever you might call it, you cannot work with that person. So, some of you might say that this is kind of very narrowed down, that blocks me from seeing the full picture of the 360 degrees. However, in my experience, because I'm a very short patient, I don't have a lot of patience, I cannot deal and waste time with people that they're wasting my time, number one. And number two, I usually distort the reality around my vision. 
So what I want to achieve in my life, I distort reality to achieve it, and I don't care what is happening and what is the opinion of someone else. And this is what brought me until here. And that's, and that's a kind of intro to explain to you why team building was very difficult for me to research and understand about this project. Then, when I did some research online, what happened is I found like 50-50% contradictory information. 50% of the research was mentioning that, mentioned that team building has no results, it's a waste of money, a waste of time. 50% of the other research said that has great results and you should do it and you have a company. So in that, it's in your opinion what you're going to choose to be in. However, I had this experience with this project. What happened is, long story short, about five months ago, if my memory doesn't mistake me, what happened is, I was talking with Toastmaster Ohana, probably all of you have met your regular members. I was with your mentoring project, and she mentioned to me, how can we do something more interesting in those classes? How we can we improve it and bring it to a higher level and bring something out of the box? And she mentioned about text style speeches. So I was like, okay, a light bulb turned on in my brain. And I was like, let me think about it. Let me see how we can incorporate that in the Toastmasters platform. And I went back and did some research, and then I gathered with the past officers, Swatana, Pa, Pyramon and Jamal at the time, and we discussed about how we can introduce some new ideas. And as far as I remember, if I'm correct, they were all very supportive and they were all very in favor of creating something new and introducing something new. So what happened is that we had similar goals, we had similar vision. Not exactly the same, but we could like wrap it out and find it and find how it to fit the puzzle pieces. So the next step was we had some short meetings on and off, 20 minutes after the sign of those masses meetings, 20 minutes earlier, a couple of minutes, a couple of meetings outside the club. And we developed a plan of who is going to do which and what part of each activity, who's going to do the promotions, who's going to do the banners, who's going to inform the people, who's going to do the timekeeping. And October came and we had this we went live at the first event, the SDCX event. So I think most of the regular members were here at the time. And the first event, in my opinion, was okay. Not super, it didn't go super because it was the first event, but it wasn't very bad, it was okay. And then we continued and both of them were great and the other two people that were assisting. And what happened is we keep refining it, keep promoting, keep finding what to make better because we had common vision, common goals together and common ideas. And December came, we did the third event, and I think it was super successful. We had about 60 people, 50 or 60 people in the room. In my experience and Bill Mark had seen so many people about that until that day. Personally, I learned a lot of things from that event, all the events from the speakers. And I was very grateful for the research and the time that they put inside there. Now, why I'm saying you this is because my message, what I want to give you to understand is team building is a is a how can I say it's like a, a sticker. Depends on how you see it, how you define it. Depends on the purpose that you want to give it to that sticker. To that characteristic. If you're a corporation, you might need it. If you're an entrepreneur, it's not necessary that you need it. What I got out of this experience for me was that I learned how to develop with people that we had created with that common ideas and vision. I learned how to develop a project. I experimented on this, and then I'm developing this outside of Toastmasters with a different kind of project that those attention and skills and experiences in that. And I want to thank the two people that are here that helped me to develop that project. Thank you very much all for talking to the sponsor today. Thank you. Thank you. So now we know the history of